Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Tom Hillen. And I'm Emily Leonard. At first at noon, a man police say tried to abduct five young boys over the past week is now in custody. Grand Rapids police telling us the man who is in his 40s was arrested this morning after a tip. News 8's Joe Lafergi is at the live desk with what we're learning about the attempted abductions. Joe. Tom and Emily, investigators tell us that these attempted abductions started on Thursday of last week. Yesterday, they escalated when, for the first time, one of the victims was assaulted by the suspect. Now, all the attempted abductions happened on the northwest side. Two were in Richmond Park. The man was apparently approaching young boys and asking them to help him find a lost dog. Overnight, police put out an alert, and this morning, someone called police after spotting the suspect. He was arrested near the corner of 4th and Broadway. Now, investigators are saying this shows how the community can come together to get bad guys off the street. We need the community's help, and we cannot do it alone. And this, this was uh, a, a very good day. This got somebody that needed to get off the street, off the street, prevented further incidents from happening. Uh, and hopefully will be a springboard for greater community police interactions and cooperation. Now, police are not releasing specifics about the assault that happened in Richmond Park yesterday, only telling us the physical injuries to the boy are not serious. Investigators did praise the young victim for running for help, which allowed police to start connecting the dots. Every one of these young boys acted the way they were supposed to act. They fled the area. They, they spoke to an adult. Um, they were completely forthcoming and gave the information that they needed to give to give us proper and accurate descriptions of who this predator was. Now, we're told the suspect does have a prior criminal history. The case is being reviewed by the prosecutor's office to determine which charges will be issued. In the newsroom, Joe Lafergie, News 8.